every time we come down, it comes down to Ega, it, it's, it's different, right? Like this is different type of kendo from everybody else. The sharpness of his dough. He, I feel that he's so free on the way that he moves his body, is able to go from either side. Many people when we do Kashido, right away they're they're already committing towards their right side. But you know, he saw the opportunity and felt he could have come out cleaner on the left, and he did. His joints have to be super relaxed in order to get this. It's interesting how he's blocking here and the position of the feet because he's not coming in forward. He's actually stepping to the side with the right foot, hits the dough and comes out on the left side. I think this is a, an amazing dough. It's definitely a whole different level. I really, really appreciate watching Ega's approach and pressure towards the match, how he tries to control the sword and tries to find the opening. I think it's super cool to watch. His opponent is being aggressive. He's being very aggressive. Normally, this is what you see from Ega. And Ega is actually comfortable, I think, at this distance. So, interesting, interesting to watch, I think. You see how he missed, Ega missed controlling the opponent's sword. And because he missed that, he immediately got away. I have the feeling that he understands that at this moment he is in a point of danger and his opponent may have an advantage in that point. So he's been very aware of this. Watch. Okay, he's came from the distance. The opponent comes in, goes back. Very relaxed, very relaxed. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice. Ega is very good, very good at understanding distance, observing the opponent. There's times when I feel that when I'm watching Ega, he is understanding the opponent, he's reading the opponent, and then later on the match, he's able to take advantage of the opponent with the information that he had before. I don't know, my, my interpretation.